All right, so we learned how to use the determinant in three ways yesterday. One was for area, one was collinear, and then one was Kramer's rule. So this first one is area. We have to do our x's and our y's side by side, enter in a row of ones at the end, and then find the three by three determinant. So I'm gonna add the negative three, the two, the negative four, two, negative three, negative four. Diagonals, top left, bottom right first. So negative three times negative three times one is nine. Two times one times negative four, negative eight. One times two times negative four, negative eight. And I'd get one minus eight, which is negative nine. Come back the other way. One times negative three times negative four is 12. Negative three times one times negative four, 12 again. Two times two times one, positive four. So 24 plus four, 28. And then I do the negative nine minus the... Is it negative nine or negative seven? One minus eight, negative seven. Thank you for stopping it then and not letting me get further. Negative seven, negative seven minus 28, negative 35. Because it's area, we have to multiply by a half and we also get rid of the negative. Area is always positive. So if this was a question on a canvas question, it'd be 35 over two or it'd be 17.5. Either of those answers would work, okay? Again, it needs to be positive and then we take that determinant and cut it in half. Questions on that one? Okay, then two, determine whether the points are collinear. So this is simply yes or no. This is the only multiple choice question on your test. It's collinear or not collinear. We do the same thing we just did. We enter in those points left to right with each X and Y. So zero, negative five, two, one, four, one. And then my column of ones, duplicate row or column one and column two. And then the diagonals, top left, bottom right. This would be zero, minus 20 plus 14, negative six. Go back the other way. Four, zero, negative 10, negative six. And I get negative six minus a negative six becomes plus six. And my determinant is zero. So this means yes, these are collinear this time. If it's anything other than zero, it's a no. But if it's zero, it's a yes. Questions on that one. Okay, same Kramer's rule with two variables. So I'm gonna rewrite my system, negative seven, 11, negative one, and three, negative nine, nine, as a, an augmented matrix. I'm gonna find D first, which is the X's and the Y's, negative seven, 11, three, negative nine. Then I'm gonna find D sub X, take out the X's and put in the constants, negative one, nine, and 11, negative nine. And then I'm gonna find D sub Y. This time the X's stay, I take out the Y's and put the constants. To the little fish, negative nine times negative seven minus three times 11. And I get 63 minus 33, which is 30, that's my D. Go to the next one, negative nine times negative one minus nine times 11. 9 minus 99, and I get negative 90. That's D sub X. And then the last one, do it again. 9 times negative 7 minus 3 times negative 1. Negative 63 minus a negative 3 becomes positive 3, negative 60. That's D sub Y. So then I have to do X as DX over D negative 90 over 30, which is negative three, and y as dy over d, negative 60 over 30, which is negative two. So the solution to this system will get typed in exactly like this on Canvas, but all the work's gonna go on your answer sheet. So again, you're gonna get a space for d, for d sub x, for d sub y, and then you'll type in that ultimate answer into the box on Canvas. Questions on that one. Okay, so let's talk about your... Okay, so this, your, there's a practice quiz I want you to go to today. It says 219C3, Kramer's Rule Quiz Practice Submission. Okay, it should be on... I actually don't think I put it on the module. So it's under quizzes, but under the practice one. Eight. 
it's gonna obvious this is looks pretty similar to what you're gonna get on over the weekend so it says screenshot the question bring it into it that should be an app god bless you that's why i'm not an english teacher an app that allows you to record audio and annotations solve this and that's god bless you solve the system using kramer's rule export the video to your camera roll and then submit it to the question using that little icon so that icon is new from the last time you did it okay so if I click on take the quiz, today's just a practice, so the counter's not going to be there to stress you out. It will be there on over the weekend, okay? So keep that in mind. I clicked on take the quiz. Here we go. Okay, so there's just one question. Today it's actually a picture. It should be loaded in there, and this is just number four from your warm-up, okay? So you want to either screenshot this question or if it'll let you tap and hold it, save it to photos, whatever you want to do to save that question. But that question that you're going to get has to be in the corner of your video. So I just copied it, right? Now I'm going to go into an extern I'm going to go into another app. So I could use explain everything if you have it, but you could also jump into Edu Creations, you can jump into Doceri, whatever it is that's going to get you to record. If you want to go into Notability and do the screen record, that's fine too. But you have to make sure, because on screen record, people forget to do the audio. You have to have the audio turned on, okay? And I can't show that, like I can't show you screen record from here, because I'm not. It looks like that. And you have to make sure the audio is turned on. Right now it says microphone off. I have to turn it on if I'm going to do screen record, okay? And there's no pausing there. That's the only other reason I would say maybe don't do screen record is it's all in one shot. That's not to say you can't make a mistake and then go blush. Make a mistake and then say oops and fix it. That's fine. Okay. But don't waste like seven minutes on a whole thing that's wrong and then expect me to be happy with reading that. Don't do that. So what I would do is again choose something that you're comfortable with. My advice is if in that 45 minutes, which is plenty of time to take this question and solve it on a piece of paper, make sure you know the right answer, make sure you did it correctly, and then go back to your iPad and record it, okay? One, it will be faster, you won't fumble so much, and that makes my job a little bit more enjoyable. Two, you'll, be, you'll build that confidence of knowing what the answer already is. Okay, so you guys are gonna practice. You don't have to do the audio right now, but take this and put it into a whiteboard recording app. Again, you can use Edu Creations or Doceri. So from here, obviously I hit submit on this box, which I'm zoomed in right now, so I don't see the full box. If I hit the three bars on the right hand side, I wanna click on the one that looks like the playback with the, with the music note, and I wanna say upload slash record media. You can also get to that same menu by going to insert, and the media one is there. We're gonna upload or record media and it says drag a file here. So if you're using the web from Canvas, I just tap on the little rocket ship. I go to photo library. I find my recording. I say use. It's going to compress it. You don't see it right now, but it's saying compress on my screen. And there's my uploaded video. If you don't see the uploaded video, it didn't upload. So make sure you see it in that screen before you hit, uh, it's on the bottom there to submit there's a green box there that says submit you can't see it okay submit quiz there we go so again we just did that whole thing from start to finish in like 10 minutes and that's with me explaining it to you there is no reason that that 45 minutes is not enough time okay so all of that needs to happen and then you're going to hit submit quiz I can't find the video in my, um, my camera. It only shows like the last photo for some reason. Did you, are you on videos? I don't like, I don't like the video, like on that thing. So shoot, let me reset it. You just had to swipe it. So Sophia says swipe it, but let me see if I can't reset this view so that you can okay. see it again. that hold please I hope not I know but if that's why if you practice it the first time and you're not like umming your way through it you can actually just work, work probably, it out I'm probably gonna do it twice like I'm probably gonna have it on my iPad and then have it like split screen so I can see the problem and then just like rewrite it 
Okay. What 